What's up traders? Welcome back to another trading view tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to build a watch list and set up your charts for success. Let's jump in. Welcome back everybody to the channel. I'm excited to have you here. Today we're going to be taking a look at TradingView, which is of course uh, the most popular trading platform right now. Everybody seems to just absolutely love TradingView uh, and I was in it before it was cool. You know, I've been trading on TradingView for a number of years now. Um, but what we're going to go over today is we're going to go over some watch list details, how to build your dream watch list. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do it and how cool it is that you can actually build more than one watch list if you do actually go for TradingView Premium. I believe that that is a limitation. Uh, but if you go for the TradingView Premium, it's awesome. And even if you just have the free version, I believe you can build one watch list for free. So. Here's what you can do with the watch list feature. So I've got this pulled up and all you're gonna do to navigate to your watch list is at the top right hand of the screen, you've got watch list and details. Click that, it's gonna open up this panel here and I've gone ahead and just pushed down the current chart so that we can see more of the watch list. And what you'll see is that this is my total watch list. Everything on this list is things that I might want to pay attention to, might keep on, uh, well, my watch list, right? I wanna see what the performance is looking like. So for example, if I click CADJPY, CAD Yen is making a move higher today and I can see that on my change. If I go to AUDJPY, this one, same thing, it's making a move up. Uh, or if I wanted to, I even could sort by change and there we go. You can see that the pound New Zealand, for example, is down on the day by 0.7% looking at the four hour change chart. If I take a look at pound Aussie, same story, you guys get the point. It can be very nice to have all of your stuff in one place to see biggest movers, things like that. So how do we add to it? How do we remove to it? And how could we mark our favorites? All of those are great questions. I'm glad you asked. Let's take a look at how to do that. So right here, if you go to add symbol, if I wanted to add something, for example, it's actually got my recent viewed charts, which is kind of crazy. Let's just say I wanted to trade uh, or I wanted to look up uh, copper. Why not? XCUUSD. And what I can do is I can actually add copper. I'm trading on Oanda, so I'd probably want to add copper to the watch list. So if I wanted to do that, just saying a random chart, as many of these I already have added, Okay, we are now uh, added to copper. You can click go to symbol if you wanna just open it up. Uh, well, actually I take that back. Maybe that's not working, but I can just click it and we're brought over to copper, which is trading at 4.20739. Um, so here's the cool thing about this. It's now on my watch list and I can again, for, uh, I can sort this by alphabetical order if I wanted to. And at the very bottom, you can see there is our copper chart, which has now been added to our watch list. And of course, it's really easy to do the opposite. You can just go into, actually, I don't even know how to, oh, you just click the X mark. If you wanted to remove copper, you could just click the X mark it, X mark and take it off of your watch list and then it's no longer gonna be there. So that's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now, here's the cool thing about this. With the other feature you can do is you can actually flag things. So I have a trade open on NZD CAD and I'll show you guys this. So if I pull up NZD CAD, you can see I'm, I'm currently in a long trade already on this one. And if I look at NZD CAD, which is not on my watch list, I need to add that really quick. So here's another in action. I don't know why that's not on my watch list, but NZD CAD will go here and click NZD CAD. NZD CAD is now on my watch list. And if I, again, sort by, here we go. Look at this. Another really cool thing is that if you trade directly on tradingview.com, which I have made a video about, if you'd like to know how to trade directly on tradingview.com, if you wanna link your broker, here's how to do it. Top right hand of the screen, we're gonna have a pop-up card that will take you to a video on how to do just that. So check that out when you get a chance. All right, so NZD CAD, you can actually see that right there, there's a little L mark, which is cool. That L stands for loser. Just kidding, it actually stands for long. So it's showing me I have a long trade open on NZD CAD. Um, but I still could be a loser on this trade, so maybe it does stand for loser. Anyways, the point is with this, I can actually see current positions just by seeing this, but let's say I didn't have my broker linked up and I still wanted to mark this as a trade that I'm long on. I could actually come color code this as blue and now look at my watch list, you can see I've got this one sticks out like a sore thumb with that blue tag as something that I'm in. Now, people like to get fancy with this and I don't blame them because let's say that, for example, I wanted to pick up an S&P 500 trade 
and I didn't have a trade yet, but it was hot on the watch list. Maybe in this case, I mark it yellow, right? So now these are things that I'm actually in a trade on. And let's say, let's make something up really quick. Let's say we also had uh, a short on pound yen. If we had a short on pound yen, we could mark it red. We could mark our long trade in blue. And we could uh, chart our or mark our high priority one or potential setup as orange. The point here is that this just made it super easy to filter through charts that matter the most to us. Or I'll show you the next way of doing this that is also very common to traders that do have TradingView Premium, which by the way, if you do want to get TradingView Premium after checking out all these cool features, then you can actually use the link down below in the description. We do have an affiliate link with uh, TradingView, which will get you set up with an account and you can actually do all the features that we're talking about uh, that are exclusive to premium members. So check this out. Um, I can actually create a new list and as because I do have premium, I can go in here and I can create a new list and let's just say um, my crazy list. Let's say I wanted to make a crazy list and I don't know, we're going to make crazy somehow. Let's say we come in here and let's just say we add some random stuff. I looked at Netflix stock the other day because it was popping up on after hours just for fun. I want to add it to the list. Let's say I want to add oil, see what's going on with oil. And I don't know, nifty 50, not that I've ever traded that. But this is my crazy list and suddenly all of those things are saved here. And the cool thing about this is I can pull up these charts just by clicking them. It's so easy to navigate between each thing. And of course, on top of this, what's awesome is that I can actually see my entire lists right here. So I have my all list, which is the one that I just showed you with everything that I on a regular basis consistently watch. And we also have my crazy list and something my history is here. Let's see what I've been deleting in my history. Oh, it's uh, some of the stocks that I no longer own. Forget you, forget you, forget you. Okay, so we're out of there and you can see now we see all my lists. I have my crazy list and all. And I can build several lists with the um, uh, in import list feature. I've never even seen this. Let's not import that stuff. <laughs> You can actually import lists, which is cool. So if you have a list of things from like a CSV file, I would imagine you could probably do that. But the point is here, I can actually just go through uh, and filter through my list. So maybe for example, some traders might wanna do like NZD pairs or GBP pairs and just switch to that view. That's an option. Maybe you even wanna make your list. Let's delete my crazy list. It was too crazy for me anyways. Let's say I create a new list and let's say that I wanna call this one, um, I don't know, uh, current trades, right? Maybe in this case, I make a list and I can add current charts that I'm actually in trades on that I wanna watch. And that way I can limit how many charts are over here. That's another option that some traders might choose to use. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you on how to build your watch list on tradingview.com. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Remember, if you want access to TradingView Premium, click the link down below in the description and you can sign up there. Thanks for watching guys. It looks like you made it to the end of one of my videos. Thank you so much for supporting my content. It really means the world to me. And down below in the description, I put together some of my best resources for aspiring traders who are looking to improve. I've got some free downloads that could help you, some broker recommendations. And if you'd like to join our Discord or get access to some of our trading software, all of that will be linked down below in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.